All right, so first thing we're going to be watching is this video, which is called Forcing an AI to Write a Megalodon Documentary. Uh, so oftentimes when I... Oh, sorry, we're early. <laughs> oftentimes when I, watch, uh, when I watch videos on exactly YouTube 13. and these shitty React videos, uh, I often say that they seem like they are written by AI, especially like that one frilled shark got swallowed by video. It just like, it had no flow. It had no story. It had no plot. So I always thought like, these videos literally seem like they're written by robots and they just like pay someone to voice them and put some photos behind it and then that they just make money off of that. I mean, that just seems like the quality of the video. Uh, and so Whirly took it upon themselves to do that <laughs> for real, I believe, actually had an AI write a Megalodon documentary. So we're going to be watching an AI written Megalodon documentary. Uh, shout out to Whirly for this one. What's up, Whirly Birds? It's me, Whirly, back at you with another video. And I know what you're wondering, where have you been? And I'll tell you, the abyss. I have been fighting for my life. Am I gonna make more content? Whirly, this is not- it depends on if they let me. Whirly, this is not what I was signing up for. I thought it was gonna be a funny Megalodon video. What are you, what are you doing here? With that out of the way, okay. I was watching a stream from my favorite fish biologist and also best friend, right. Zachary. Or yeah, Amy. we're best friends. Oh, fuck, I actually typed. Whirly, you're my best friend. That really? Whirly specifically asked me, <laughs> specifically asked me to message them. Whirly, you're my best friend, but I put Whirly, you're my best friend, and then in superscript, I wrote not. <laughs> and he jokes about a video that sounded like it was written by an AI. What? This is like, this is like, if you asked an AI. Hey, I'm wearing the same shirt and the same hat. <laughs> look at that. I just, what's good? Well, look at that. <laughs> Hi, Pat Zach. How you doing? <laughs> and I thought, who better to make that video <laughs> than the number one most trusted source on the internet, Dr. Whirly. <laughs> Not Dr. Greenbean. You can tell I'm a doctor because I have a stethoscope and they don't just give these out to everybody. <laughs> Please trust that's, me. That's true, they don't. Please. With a little help from a program called InfraKit, not sponsored, I would put in a little sentence like, sharks are so cool. And it would come back with something like, sharks are so cool. They're out there searching for sea urchins and sardines and all kinds of stuff that's in the water. They make these incredible noises and every once in a while, they explode. <laughs> yeah, so AI is not great at writing these videos, but honestly, some of these genuinely seem like they are written by AI. So I asked this thing to help me make a script for an entire Megalodon video. And here's how it turned out. AI made Megadon. We have only explored 5% of our world's oceans. Wow. Meaning, That's deep. there must be creatures down there we have never seen. Really? For example, the Megalodon. Okay. It's described as a shark, but was it really? Were there actually sharks that were as large as the Megalodon that have been around for millions of years? <laughs> According to scientists. Okay, you know what's crazy? So far, this seems exactly, like I'm not surprised. I'm like, really, an AI wrote this? Because it actually seems on par with every video that we've ever watched. Megalodon fossils found in the Miocene epoch 22 to 13.6 million years ago are more than nine meters long. That's not a Megalodon. As the Megalodon is estimated <laughs> to have reached 20 meters in length. Nope. Megalodon <laughs> teeth, much like shark teeth, are sharp, pointed, and narrow. And it's not... much like shark teeth, okay. I mean, is it, does the AI like have a, where does the AI get its data? Does it just pull from real, like random places on the internet? Is the AI essentially like just reading the Wikipedia article out to us? I'm confused where it's getting this info. Like the pointy teeth you'd see on a great white shark. What does this mean? For the Megalodon has teeth like a shark, like the pointy teeth on a great white shark. <laughs> In is. Jurassic Park, the visitor has to control the water flow using a hydraulic jack. What? <laughs> Once the water is flowing, the hydraulic jack is turned off, and then the jack falls down and brings the platform <laughs> What are you up. talking about? You need water for sharks to survive. Okay, that's water, true. Water, of course, was plentiful during the time of the Megalodon. Why <laughs> they didn't live in the ocean full time, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Say why they didn't live in the ocean full time? They did. If the Megalodon did exist, they most likely ate people. <laughs> they were giant sharks, and okay. people would have been small fish to them, and would have been easy prey. 
Megalodons have been extinct for at least 12 million years, and possibly 15 million years. Today, <laughs> they can only be found in freshwater. <laughs> the fucking AI. Today, they can only be found in freshwater. Freshwater, but non-completely Murray, non-completely <laughs> watered Megs. The Megalodon will be shown what in is a special this stock event day on Saturday, January 13th at 1.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. What? Tickets are $5 each, <laughs> and the theater is wheelchair accessible. <laughs> Anyone can take a short walk out to the shore to see the interesting fossil. <laughs> After all, Megalodon fossils are abundant in the surrounding area. And there's a boat that will take people out to a boat ramp for an easy boat trip to see the fossils. <laughs> Where, why are you getting on the water to see Megalodon teeth? They're everywhere. They sell them at gift shops for like $2. <laughs> what the fuck is this? There is nothing scarier than a Megalodon. One massive shark ready to kill. <laughs> you don't even see it. It's all you can hear. <laughs> Hunting the Megalodon. <laughs> it's a fire image. Why? the Megalodon became extinct. It's such a terrible image of a Megalodon, I hate that one. David Wellington. <laughs> there is no better hiding place for the Megalodon than the abyss of the ocean. So why did the Megalodon- <laughs> Where did- what? What? <laughs> what did that have to do with anything? The origin of the Megalodon is unknown. <laughs> I think the origin's not the fossil that. record of sharks and their evolutionary. <laughs> Who's David Wellington? <laughs> Should I know any? David Wellington, American writer of horror fiction, best known for his zombie trilogy. What? Show no link between sharks and the megalodon. What? Okay, that's the not the megalodon true. is related to the jaguar. <laughs> Jaguars are nocturnal animals. <laughs> However, There's it's so worth much. noting that the jaguar is most likely not a megalodon ancestor. This megalodon lived 300 to 240 million years There is years ago. nothing... Like... What the fuck is that, by the way? Is this supposed to be a goblin shark? Like, there's so much... <laughs> I feel like if I wanted to correct every little thing as we went along, I'd just be pausing every two seconds. And it's not made to be correct, it's a fucking AI video. And ironically, this is not the worst video we've watched. <laughs> there are two likely scenarios as to why this megalodon was extinct. Sure. One is that the megalodon's prey, which are bony fish, became extinct around this time. Honestly, not that far off. Didn't have enough prey. Okay, real reason. Not the bony fish didn't go extinct, but... This megalodon species possibly became extinct because of the habitat changes, as well as competition from the great white shark, which was common around the same time. Okay, now he's just reading a Wikipedia article. That sounded way too correct to not just be read straight from a Wikipedia article. The megalodon may have died out at the same time as great whites. Nope. Another great proof <laughs> for the megalodon, most notably in the shark species that have taken over the role of their ancestors, True. which, in spite of its name, are not true megalodons. Such as the Great White Shark. <laughs> I Science. swear the only shark that the AI knows is Great White. He has not say, said the name of a single other shark other than Great White. And for some reason he said David Wellington. <laughs> we know more about the Great White Shark today than we do the Megalodon. The Megalodon- I, That's fairly obvious. <laughs> We know more about a living shark today than we do about an extinct shark. Cool. Many believe that the megalodon died out millions of years ago, but yeah. fossils are pointing to the contrary. Are they? Evolution is messy. <laughs> That's David true. David Wellington. <laughs> Stop saying to I feel like Worley had to have added Puggers. this. There's no way raw script input the AI said David Wellington over and over again. <laughs> it genuinely just said David Wellington. All right. <laughs> Why? You didn't put, what did you put in? Like just, you just put in Megalodon and it, okay, cool. The All Megalodon, right. while also named the Great White Shark, has been <laughs> extinct since the Pliocene era. Why is the, the Megalodon music surprisingly shares a lot of similarities to jaguars? Nope. With the exception of the teeth. <laughs> jaguars are larger than Megalodon. Really? They share a lot of similarities with the jaguar, except the teeth. I would say the closest thing is the teeth. <laughs> You're telling me this. 
resembles a shark. Which allows for more streamlined swimming. Both are coastal sharks. However, the jaguars, jaguars are not coastal along with sharks. Larger ancestors. You know what? I'm starting to think. I'll bet the AI was trying to talk about tiger sharks. And it got to jaguar from tiger somehow. Because it just said the jaguar is a coastal shark. What are the chances the AI meant to talk about tiger sharks and accidentally started just talking about jaguars? Were you surprised by any of the facts in this video? Feel free to comment below. <laughs> if you liked this video, make sure to subscribe on YouTube for more awesome content. Like okay. This. Social media. You can follow us on these social media platforms. This video was sponsored Where's the by challenge Evan and the threat. David Wellington is a biology student at San Francisco State University. <laughs> he can't be reached. We'll see you later. In the and David Wellington is a biology student at San Francisco University. He University. can't be reached. He can't be reached. We'll see you later in the week with another exciting episode of our science podcast. <laughs> the, wait, the AI gave you a sponsor? The AI made up a sponsor called Epic Backpacking. This video was sponsored by Epic Backpacking. <laughs> the AI made up their own sponsor for the video. Damn, you get paid by them? Thank you, Whirly. That was a sick ass video. Everyone subscribe to Whirly. Look, I'm gonna do it right now. Whirly. Turn notifications off though, because what do you think I am? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> sponsored by Epic Backpacking. Epic Backpacking is a company based on thrills and epic backpacks. They don't exist, but the AI told me it was sponsored by them, so I felt inclined to thank them. What is this? Oh, this is, you, you have an AI written video description. Okay. In this video, I accept AVNJ's challenge to prompt an AI. Oh, wait, no, that's real. Why is it, uh, why did you capitalize every word? This is upsetting. I can't read this. Very inspiring. Thank you, Whirly, very much. Oh.